Hey everyone, uh, my name is Ira, and uh, <clears throat> this is, today, today we're just going to talk about transliness as trendiness. Um, something we see a lot, especially in the binary transgender community, is um, a lot of horizontal hate directed at people who are newly coming out um, or newly identifying as trans and saying that that they're only coming out as trans because of the trend. Um, and therefore, they cannot really be trans. Um, that's not cool. First of all, like, it's really hard, as you know, to gain support as a trans person. It's hard enough having to explain to all the people who aren't trans what it is to be trans. Um, <coughs> and then from that point on, gaining allies once they do understand, if they ever do understand. Um, it's, it can be an incredibly lonely existence as a trans person. And so really, like, people who are newly coming out as trans don't need your shit. <laughs> just, I'm just going to say that straightforward. They, they really don't need your lack of support. <coughs> Sorry, I'm like, I'm going to be sick forever, pretty much. <laughs> um, but, so yeah, the idea that because something is a trend, it's automatically invalid is a little ridiculous. Um, I guess you could think about it like, you know, you like a band up until the time that they're famous and then all of a sudden their music isn't good anymore, and it's like, no, that's not necessarily true. I mean, sometimes, sometimes they sell out, but, <laughs> but obviously, like, trans people are not the same thing as bands, right? And so, um, but the notion is, like, that if, if being trans is a trend, that it's automatically not real or like not as good and that that newly coming out trans people are ruining it for binary transgender people who want to medically transition because a lot of people who are newly coming out don't want to med medically transition. Um, that's a little ridiculous. Um, first of all, you don't want to, you don't want to hate on the people who don't fit into an institution that's meant to keep you down in the first place. <laughs> like, uh, pretty much it, it saying that you you know, that you're disappointed in, like, transgender people coming out as a trend or whatever, that you think it's a trend and such and so forth, and that, like, you only want to interact with legitimate trans people is ridiculous because, well, first of all, who are you to define someone else's identity? Who are you to say whether or not someone else is legitimate or not? Um, and lastly, like, what does a legitimate trans person look like? Uh, I mean, like, when I first came out, a lot of people told me that I wasn't legitimate enough. Um, but I mean, what what defines legitimacy in terms of one's identity? Is it medically transitioning? Well, that sucks because a lot of people don't do that. Um, is it is it having the same identity for the rest of your life? Um, well, that's not how gender works. That's cute, though. Um, I apologize for my sarcasm. Um, no, that's not how gender works for everybody. Uh, and, and to say that you have any right over someone else's identity is really fucked up. Um, it's just, it's really, it's really disappointing um, because we live in this world of cis sexism, right? And in order for forms of oppression to function, a lot of the time, they have to convince marginalized people that these constructions are true, right? And so in the, in the case of cis sexism, trans people have to be convinced of the fact that we are the other, that we are the abnormal, that we are not as valid as cisgender people in order to really function. And that in order to be a good trans person, we have to model a cisgender person's life as much as we possibly can. So this includes getting married, this includes taking part in capitalism, which is complicated because of medical transition and stuff. But um, so yeah, this includes getting married, taking part in capitalism, getting a job, going to college, all the things that all the cisgender people are told to do. Um, and trans people are told to do it too. They're just told to not be trans during this process. <laughs> um, and, and part of this includes, you know, fitting into gender roles and being part of a gender binary. And so like a lot of trans people, when they come out, they immediately go to hypermasculinity or hyperfemininity um, because that's what society expects of us. And, and really all we want is to be seen as our true selves. And so we find, we find ourselves, um, we find ourselves submitting to these roles that may or may not actually apply to us. 
because of our desire to be perceived as the people we are. Um, so then what happens is that there are people who refuse to take part in these roles um, because they, it, because of, you know, because of not experiencing body dissonance, because of not experiencing dysphoria, because of refusing to do that for whatever reason, it doesn't matter, it's just that some people don't take part in hypermasculinity or hyperfemininity um, as what is expected. Some people do, but they go the opposite of what um, our culture says we should do. And so, like, so then what happens is instead of blaming the institution that says this is wrong, that keeps us down, what we do is we blame other trans people for our being marginalized. And no, that's not how it works. That's not how it should work. We should be in solidarity. We should stick to each other's side, regardless of understanding or not understanding each other's identities. Because at the end of the day, it's cis sexism that makes it hard for you to medically transition if you want. And it's also cis sexism that says that being non binary is wrong. Um, so, yeah. So, people who are already out as trans, people who have already medically transitioned, like, if if I ever hear you say, or if I ever read you say that trends is a trend and therefore it's invalid, I seriously will, I will call you out and I will do so intensely. Um, it's not your place to tell people whether or not their identities are real or valid, um, especially with something as um, immeasurable as transliness. Like, how does, how does one measure the real, like, the, the legitimacy of being trans? You can't, so get over yourself. <laughs> um, and so yeah, I apologize. This is for being angry. It's just like this really upsets me, and it's not cool. And yeah, come on, trans community, you can do better than that.